Hey folks, how you guys doing today? Jimmy here, your local real estate professional. And if you guys are anything like me, you're big fans of personal development. I mean, I am. I've been a, a fan of personal development since I was in my teens. I was uh, driving around in my little escort, listening to Les Brown tapes decades ago, decades ago, big fan. So one of the things that I love about personal development and real estate for that matter, is that the two are actually really connected. Specifically, one of the things that I found over my years of, of living here is that my personal development journey, my journey to improve myself and, and my surroundings and the things that I'm involved in, follow a similar path to my journey in real estate. I'll give you an example. One of my first houses uh, that my wife and I moved into uh, was a condo out, out in West Bloomfield. And nice condo, everything was great. Till one day, I was taking a shower, and you, I'm sure you've had this, this situation. The one pink tile fell off. It was one tile. Fell off into the shower. Now, me being me, I'm like, man, what the heck is that? You know, what's going on with that? So of course I poked around and touched where the other, where the tile just kind of fell off. It didn't seem like it had any mastic on it at all. And guess what? Another tile fell off, but it was only two. So I had these two tiles that you know, of course they had broken, of course, that I needed to go figure out. I needed to go find some replacement tiles and I was going to put them back up and be done with it. Because of course, you know, when one time you, you really don't want to have to redo the entire shower, at least not at that time. But you know how these things work out. One thing led to another. Basically found out there was mold all behind the wall. The the They didn't use the pro proper green board. And it was just an entire mess. Long and short of it, everything in the shower had to come out. Or, you know, at least I thought it did because I'm digging around. Everything had to come out. So from a personal development standpoint, here was the situation. At that point in my life, had I, re had I done uh, renovated bathrooms, I had been involved in them, but I never really did one on my own. But I was certain, absolutely certain, that I could get it done by myself. I just knew that I could because I had seen it. I had been around it. I knew the materials needed to happen, and, and there you go. So... That was in October. I'm happy to say six months later in April, we were finally able to use our master bathroom again. Isn't that great? <laughs> By the way, this was a small space. It wasn't that big a deal. It wasn't that big a space, but it took me six months to get it done. Not only did I, I made every mistake in the book and I did them a couple of different times, but I learned a lot. And one of the things that I learned a lot, one of the things that I learned immediately after in, in this, this was apparent then, but I refused to accept it, was how ignorant I was about doing these types of repairs. And one step further, how arrogant I was to think that I could do it without asking for help. Because what I didn't tell you was that although it took me six weeks or six months to get the whole thing done ultimately, it took me about five months of me toiling and trying to figure it out on my own before I finally wisened up and said, Dad, I need some help. And he came over and knocked it out probably within like three weeks. It was just that simple. So from a personal development standpoint, I learned a lot about myself during that project. And I continue to learn and continue to benefit from that project. If I wouldn't have done that project, I wouldn't have come face to face with my own personal arrogance and ambitiousness, actually, for that matter. Because, you know, I, while I like to take on big projects, I'm at that point in my life now where I understand that you can take on big projects, but it's okay to ask for help. It really is. So that's how I see real estate, right? I've taken on a lot of big projects. Maybe I didn't know every single thing when I walked into the door. But nowadays, I'm at least smart enough to ask for help when I need it. So hopefully you guys can take something from that, from my story and from my lessons. And, you know, again, so when that, that tile falls off in your bathroom, don't be like me.
<laughs> don't be like me. Ask for some help if you don't know what you're doing. All right, guys. Talk to you later.